Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanek9 from AndroRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Synergy ROM for Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. So yes, all four major US carriers are supported with this ROM. So first of all, I want to hop into settings and go into about phone because this is running on 4.2.1. Now before you think it's running on a pure Android 4.2.4.1.2, I'm sorry, 4.1.2, it's actually running on Verizon's latest version of 4.1.2. So I'm pretty sure Verizon did do an update for fixing the security hole. So I think, I'm not positive, but I think this uh, this is a fix for the security hole um, that will apply for AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and uh, Sprint. So that's a big bonus right there. Now this device does come with multi-window, yeah, and I decided to, when I went uh, when I was installing it through Clock Mod Recovery, um, I, I decided to do a transparency, but you can do a solid one or transparent um multi-window if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever. So let's go ahead and choose calendar. Yeah. And let's choose camera. Uh, not that camera. Uh, stock Samsung camera. Let's go and choose that. And there you go. So you can check out your camera or your, yeah, you can check out your camera and calendar at the same time. So let's see how, huh, what do I have today? You know, what to do, what videos to make today. And you can go and take some pictures of what you're working on too at the same time. So very, very cool. You can go ahead and change it. So if you want to change it right there, you can change the size of it all the way there. So if you want it almost full screen, you can if you want. So it's really cool. I like it. I really, really like it. Multi windows like the best feature. And I'm really glad I got ported over to Galaxy S3. Awesome feature, awesome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and close that out. Close everything out. And um, once let's go into go into messaging, and start a new one. It also comes with no two keyboard, which is, I like. So with no two keyboard, you get the numbers right on top. And if you do, do check on symbols, um, you don't get the numbers. The numbers still do stay on top. So it's really nice. I think that makes it much more efficient. So like, hey, it's what time is it? It's <laughs> it's ah. It's two o'clock, right? There you go. See, so two right there. You don't have to, you don't have to keep tapping on the symbols and all that, which is a lot of waste of time. I would like it. It does make your screen smaller for what the viewing is, but I think it's a great sacrifice for the efficiency you get with that Note two one. Um, let's go into settings or advanced S. Sorry about that. Advanced S, and here you can change a lot of stuff. So you got not a lot, but a good amount of stuff, decent amount. So you can go ahead and hide toggles after pull down uh, toggling widgets. So if I go tap on data, it goes in and closes up right away. So if we disable that, I can go turn on data and turn off data right away without um, it pulling up automatically by itself. And also if, while we're here, I've got to mention that it comes with nice blue widgets for blue toggles, which is really nice. I like these blue toggles. They look really nice. And if I didn't mention this earlier, I'm pretty sure I did, but in earlier videos for Galaxy S3, I love blue. Blue is probably one of my favorite, uh, favorite colors. Um, out of every color, especially red. I don't like red that much, but blue is probably nice. And this is a nice dark blue, a nice neon kind of blue, which is really nice. So I like that. So you got widget buttons too, so you can pick your widget buttons. So I went and get, I went ahead and checked. Um, where did it go? Screen timeout. I I went ahead and checked and toggle multi window. So if we go into here and we go all the way into the back, uh, you can tap on multi window, and now multi window is gone right here. The now it won't come back on because it's disabled. But if we go back here and we tap on multi window again, it reappears right here and you can go ahead and take it. So if you're not a fan of the back button for whatever reason, you can go ahead and toggle it right here on your toggles right here. So let's go back into advanced as settings and we can actually change the order of it too. So if I want multi window in the first, oh, very first, because I use that so often and I don't want to use the back button, I can do that. So it's very first now, which is awesome. No reboot required. Just right away, you got it, which is nice. Let's go into others, and it gives you the um, all the information about your phone. So what version is running? 4.1.2 that I messed up <laughs> in the beginning of the video. Uh, what uh, advanced S version, um, system version for Synergy RAM, and all that too, So which is really nice. I like that. It just gives you a little quick info without actually have to going into the full real settings option too. Well, that's the basic look of it. You also get a uh, 4.2 camera, which is nice. So you do get that. No, thanks. So you do get the 4.2 camera and Samsung's camera. Let's take a look at Samsung camera that we just did earlier. So this is a stock camera, which is really nice. If you go into settings and do we have slow motion? Let's see. All right. So it looks like in shooting mode that it's uh, actually just stock Galaxy S3 camera. I don't think it's the Note 2 camera. Uh, just because I can't really find, I can't find um, slow motion. So if it did have slow motion in it, that means you have the Note 2 camera. 
but it doesn't look like we have it in here. But still, it's great. You have both type of cameras. If whichever one you prefer, you can uninstall either one. I do believe. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, you can install it via Titanium Backup if it doesn't allow you in settings. So that's awesome. Uh, you get one of the latest super user um, apps. So as you can see, that's a new icon. Uh, Chainfire did update his icon, which is nice. You get S Voice if you want to use that. You also get Google Now. So it's not going to work just because my Wi-Fi is off and my data's. I don't have my SIM card in my phone. So my data is not going to work. But it's not going to work if I go ahead and do it. You know, if I search, search, it's not going to work. See? So you do a get Google Now and S Voice so for both options, whichever you want to choose, which is nice. And you also get a Wi-Fi tether. So it's working, um, as uh, developers say. It. So it's Trevi Mods' um, new hack or modified Wi-Fi tether app. So it should work uh, for Galaxy S3 straight out of the box, right when you install this ROM. So that's basic look at Synergy ROM for Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. I hope you enjoyed this ROM review for your Galaxy S3 device. If you enjoyed this ROM review, please hit the like button in the uh, bottom left hand corner. And please do consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as well. I'll link down below for this ROM. Just click on the little um, download links and more details link and I'll bring you to an article. Scroll down and you can download it there and read more info on this ROM too if you want to. Uh, but that's basically of it. Um, like I said, you get more uh, options and multi window is probably my favorite part about this ROM. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. All links down below too. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.